Hey again YouTube, this is Dr. Jonas Walsh, also known as At11 on the Union server on City of Heroes. And uh, continuing the uh, series of videos of my characters before City of Heroes is shut down uh, at the end of this week. Uh, and this mini section of Dunelm Kingdom characters, uh, this character is Radworks. So essentially the uh, evil ironworks as it were. So uh, this is... Um, uh, a, a radiation radiation uh, corruptor, so Rad Rad, otherwise known as. Uh, this is either going to go relatively okay or it's going to go very, very badly. <laughs> By virtue of not played for a while and must be said, pretty cool character to play as, um, but it was definitely a team oriented corruptor. Venu as a corruptor could be very, very um, an, uh, annoying and damaging to enemies. Um, Rad works, however, not so much. Um, radiation was probably the, if not one of the, if not the best um, sort of debuff set, along with Dark Myers, I suppose. Um, for like general debuffing of enemies and whatnot, with it being radiation. Um, but as a result, it's not very damaging at all. Um, so I think I've just got on like essentially like standard, uh, you know, one, one to one essentially. So uh, I think we'll be all right. Uh, oh, I've got the level shift. All oh, right, yeah. Well, well, I still level shifted him, so I think uh, still uh, going to survive simply by. Uh, the fact that I am somewhat a uh, little bit... Well, I'm essentially technically a level higher than anyone, so... Um, so yeah, this this was a Corruptor. I uh, figured I would go Corruptor because at least it would be a bit more damaging because you could obviously make a Radiation, Radiation Defender. Um, but uh, I figured that uh, I actually wanted something that, that, that could still do the effects of radiation and help out team, but actually pipe out damage, which obviously the idea with a corruptor you can do. So that was the uh, the line of thought. And uh, like I say, for um, for team based uh, debuffing, it uh, it worked out really, really well. Actually, um, that's the impossible. I'm just reminding myself on the on the powers and whatnot. So um, yeah. So, uh, for, for Team Ridge, it was really, really good, actually. I enjoyed playing it, um... Oh, yeah, put in the, uh... Oh, that's right, yeah. My Neutrino Bolt is nothing but Prox, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of them's the, uh, the Tesla Cage Hold, so, um... I just thought it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah. This character is not fully IO'd out. It was kind of, sort of, had... It's got, like, minor IOs in it, but was only for the purpose of, like, Frank and Slot and just for, you know... Um, just make it a little bit more effective in in some situations, but um, um, I probably would have gone for like a proper proper IO build, uh, probably in the same vein as as, as maybe Ironworks anyway. But um, uh, yeah, um, that's right. Do lingering radiation and. put on some massive debuffs on the character, that's the, thing, that's the idea, so I think I'm only really wiping through them because uh, they're of uh, a lower level anyway, so um, yeah, the idea is you're supposed to sustain a, a radiation aura on a particular character, uh, so that the, and then the rest of the mob gets infected as well, and then this guy's going to get absolutely rinsed because, well that was my weakest attack and his health just pretty much disappeared because of the amount of debuffs just placed on him with um, uh, is that the invenerating field and radiation infection essentially so um, yeah um, character wise so yeah evil iron works so again cyborg but the difference being that this this one actually um, volunteered itself for the procedure rather than it being stolen um, very loyal to the Dunelm Kingdom and um, you know put himself forward for for the procedure so um, slightly more personality trait than uh, Iron Works, essentially Rad Works, but yeah, it was a chance to you know come up with um, an alternative Rad Works 
Uh, well, alternative to ironworks essentially, and um, it gave me the excuse to try radiation. I suppose, really, I actually wanted to give it a go. I'd, I'd watched that much of Positron as an NPC in game, or had to take him down uh, on villains and whatnot. Uh, and, and probably Antimatter as well, which was the evil Positron in Praetoria from um, the uh, Keys Reactor uh, Incarnate Trial. Which I hated when it first came out, and then they made the changes, and then it was like, okay, now that is much more manageable. Um, so I actually enjoyed Keys. Um, he still had his gimmicks, Antimatter, but uh, the I think once it actually you know made it not as ridiculously difficult uh, it was i actually look forward to doing the keys but uh, i think yeah i saw that much of a, a of a radiation based character I just thought, oh, screw it i want to give it a go myself because um the power set in game that was available to players was pretty much on the npcs as well i mean you were uh, you know that was pretty much it um you could essentially make like for like, so there was only the costume you couldn't do, which... I mean, I wasn't really looking for a costume or anything, I wasn't looking to do a, a, an out-and-out -out Positron knockoff of, an, of a guy in a suit, you know, cause, which is essentially, you know, Iron Man anyway, so, um, you know... Um, so I, uh, I, I, I suppose I just decided, you know, screw it, I wanted to give Radiation a go, as an, and certainly as a Corruptor. Uh, and I just came up with the idea of, um, okay, I'll make an evil, an evil Ironworks, that's how I'll do it, so... Uh, tried to make the costume uh, still cyborg-y, um, but obviously offering something a little bit different to Timeworks. And uh, again, I think it worked out pretty well actually with the costume. So uh, I thought that helmet said it was pretty good, um, uh, and the rest of the pieces as well. Uh, still went for the sort of like white and yellow scheme for the Dunelm Kingdom anyway. So. Um, So yeah, not, I guess there's really not much else, I'll just uh, try and uh, finish off the mission and, and leave it there, so um, I don't know, it, it probably would have been um, a really strong character, at least for survivability if I'd gone for an, an IO build, much like Ironworks if I managed to do that for like ranged defence, so it would have been interesting, but um, probably wouldn't have been able to maybe solo as much as like I, I, I can certainly solo with the new no problem you know I mean as you saw in the previous video that was on like a massive mob and I had no qualms diving in and doing that with the new but that was a slightly different setup I think the 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 combination of power of um, electric blast and uh, storm summoning uh, made it much more effective solo radiation like say is uh, Probably not as much. It might have been a bit different for um, if it was a blaster, but um, I don't know. I think radiation was probably better thematically as being concentrating on the debuff rather than damage anyway. So um, the um, the cosmic burst was 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 you know pretty damaging and whatnot. And if you could get the snipe off, obviously the snipe looked pretty cool, actually. So. Uh, I did like the atom effect actually on the build up and whatnot. And the, the snipe was different in that it wasn't like a continuous stream, it was like a sort of like a, a number of sort of like bursts and one go. I thought it was pretty pretty nifty actually. I su yeah, I suppose what was really cool about radiation was a lot of the um, a lot of the animations of the powers and whatnot was 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 pretty sweet. Um, gave it a bit of a uniqueness over some of the other blaster types anyway so um, so yeah um, I, am I going to miss the character? Well concept wise I suppose I mean you know with the rest of the Dunlown group I, I, I you know would like to keep them going at some point um, radiation I don't know yeah I could see myself you know keeping with it well if I am going to make Radworks I suppose it would have to be radiation but I'm not really familiar with um, I don't think it's like essentially even available on champions or uh well, not actually I don't think at all really is it uh suppose you could try and get a power set and colour and such a way and claim to be radiation in in a sense I would I would reckon but uh yeah I think um it it, it might be a character I'll I'll, I'll like to recreate if there's an avenue to recreate in, in some form if radiation's a, a possible power so but uh, it probably wouldn't be one I'd be dying to do straight away. Uh, I suppose, but um, yeah, it's, it, it was um, still a, another character that um, 
you know, and uh, at least would you know make an effort to like create and, and do something with essentially. So, um, I think uh, I think we're close to the match here. I think we're just bringing Polish from the front of it. So. Um, Actually, I've done too bad actually for um, for damage and what. I think it just helps that <laughs> I've got the incarnate shift and therefore technically doing more damage because they're actually one level less than us. So I think it works. But um, yeah, this will be polar shift, and I think we'll leave it there. So you may take down polar shift, and then we'll call it. I've not not really got much else to to add to this really. So. Um, uh, Dasso didn't see me, right. It's uh, properly ruined her dear. Right, so um, yeah, I'm not going to even bother exiting actually, so uh, that was Radworks, uh, nothing too spectacular, um, but I always thought it was a uh, decent enough character to, uh, to miss, I think, really, um, and uh, not a bad not a, not a bad power set. Won't miss it entirely compared to other ones, but I thought it was pretty good. It certainly was, uh, it gave me a character to... It, it, it gave me the excuse to team up, obviously, because it was a case of it was much better in a team, and uh, and, and and helping others out as well. So um, it, it was it was it was good in that sense, and probably missing that sense in, in that in the sense of a lot more of my characters I could quite easily solo and not really you know actively team up. This character gave me excuse to team up because it was much better suited for teams anyway. So uh, so there we go. So that was Radworks. So um, yeah. Stay tuned, we've got uh, one final character um, for the Dunelm Kingdom, uh, and then there's still another four characters to go after that, so uh, stay tuned, this is Dr. Joel Welsh, and I'll see you later.